Hello, hello, and welcome to my city dream. Now, it's actually the afternoon today, so I am sitting with a cup of tea. Uh, this is my favourite tea, which is a mix of fennel and licorice. It's an interesting thing. Before I was actually diagnosed with Addison's disease, there was a few months when we knew that I was quite unwell, but we didn't quite know what it was. But one of the things that I did was I desperately craved licorice. And I would go through a whole bag of, the, you know, that soft eating licorice. Um, and then when I was actually diagnosed with Addison's and sort of treated with steroids, I did a bit of digging and I found that before people knew how to treat it, before you had these kind of like artificial steroids, the treatment was to eat licorice root. So somehow my body had kind of understood that and the craving, a bit like animals when they go and eat things that their body knows they need. Um, so I've, ever since then I've had um, quite a good relationship with licorice. Um, love it. And this is my favourite tea which is fennel alongside the licorice. But anyway, the thing that I really wanted to do was to show you how gorgeous this iris is now that it's fully out. I mean, one ninety nine. What a bargain! <laughs> Somebody's obviously come to the door for the dogs. Um, so this is an iris reticulata. I do not know which one it actually is, but it is absolutely glorious. This afternoon, the thing that I have left to do is to take the pots of snowdrops that I planted up three weeks ago now. If you haven't seen that, then I'll put a tag to that video. And I'm going to plant them out in the garden. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And my idea is that they will gradually just um, move out from underneath the trees as though they were kind of very natural. So year on year, I just spread them a little bit more. Um, and it's a carpet, a carpet of snowdrops. Um, so I'm going to finish my tea. And then I'm going to show you how I do that. One of the great things about having the bulbs and cups and things like this is that I can replant them. And in replanting them, I can spread the snowdrops all over the garden and um, they self sow and they increase and you end up with those carpets of, gibbles, but of, of snowdrops. First thing I need to do is just to kind of soak them. So I'm going to put them all into this bowl here. And by soaking them before I divide them, that protects the roots. So put these here. This. Actually, I might just keep these in here and pour water on them. So there we go. And I will leave that for half an hour or so just to soak up the moisture into the little bits of root. So what I'm wanting is that these bits are wet when I replant them. I'm going to plant the snowdrops um, where we have a kind of um, our pets buried and gradually I am planting snowdrops there to kind of spread out from a hazel tree. What I'm intending to do is to plant bringing those snowdrops out but so that I don't go as far as the bit that we're obviously naturally trampling which you can see is very very muddy. putting two or three bulbs in each of these holes because that will give me a nice sort of abundant effect much quicker. Splitting, this was an original colony 
I'm just splitting that up. Putting it in at the same kind of level, putting the soil around. So this is a molehill <laughs> I'm digging into here. And these will look pretty terrible for you know four or five weeks. <laughs> I'm digging up lots and lots of um, hazels here that the mice have buried. And then the clumps will spread. It is the perfect time to go and ask some friends who have good snowdrops um, if you can have a clump, start your own patch. Um, mine came from my friend Nadia, who has an amazing garden in Drimmen. And there are, it used to be a manse, you often find snowdrops in church gardens because they're a flower that is used in candle mass celebration um, and her garden has steep sides to it running down to the root and at this time of year it is just beautiful absolutely beautiful with the snowdrops under the trees so i'm planting two or three bulbs in each of these and they're about maybe 10 centimetres apart. And that will give me a really nice abundant patch next year. <laughs>